Today I'm going home to see my dad because the BMW has been having some work done on it and I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to go up to Coventry and go see him. Now when I was younger I used to spend about two hours every Wednesday night before the meet just getting my car show and shine ready and this was the perfect time for me and dad to catch up like he would come and sit out in the yard with me whilst I was washing the car. So I thought you know what let's walk down memory lane a little bit today and I'm going to go grab the Megane RS that I have, go over and pick the BMW up and head home to wash the car like old times. Made it to Dad's house. The car is super dirty, so I'm looking forward to giving it a wash and seeing my dad. Hey, Dad. Hello. Hey. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good. I've come to steal your water. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem with that. It does take you back now, doesn't it? Sundays, washing the cars. Yeah, how about Wednesdays when I used to have the meat? Oh yes, coming home and washing the uh, the golf. Washing the golf and then washing this. I go. And then we would, um, I would, on the Sundays, would wash whatever vehicle we had, if we weren't at Santa Pod or somewhere. Yeah. No, it feels, uh, it feels good to be home. Oh, it's lovely to have you home. It's quite nostalgic seeing you cleaning your car on the drive. I know, that's why I thought. I was like, do you know what? I haven't shown you the car with the new wheels. Oh, I like the new wheels. They're more practical, I think. Um, having these widths on them, um, it fits the arches better. Easy to keep shiny as well. Well, you would think so, wouldn't you? But I uh, kind of left the car in the workshop for a while, so it's not exactly the cleanest. So. So I thought it'd be a good excuse to come see you, Dad. Now, I always knew from when I was younger, you would always be telling me that you had to keep your cars always clean. Always. Uh, always cleaned and always uh, polished. And it's the secret to longevity, I think. And, and also, it's nice to have a car that looks well. That's what I think. I think if you're going to have a nice car and something like this, then yeah. it's better to keep it clean, you know? Absolutely. Those late night phone calls, Dad. Dad, the tires help. come off. Tires come off the rims. <laughs> I'm on the A14 and I've got no drive. It's nice to sit here and watch you do it. I'll get the truck out in a moment. Oh, I'm not washing that as well. Things matter. You used to use turtle wax on your car, didn't you? I remember the bottle always being in the garage. Oh yes. With the little green turtle on it. Yeah. Yeah, turtle wax was um, an easy way to keep a car shiny. I always think about when I used to come in late <laughs> and you'd just be there like, where have you been? I don't no, have that anymore. It was more about the three o'clock in the morning phone calls saying, Dad, I'm somewhere. Can you come and get me? I love it when you dry a car and then it just suddenly, it looks perfect again. Yeah, the shine comes through, doesn't it? This is always my favourite bit, just putting the tyre dressing on, because it's just... Yeah, so that's the uh, final polish, doesn't it? Yeah. Makes it look smart. It does. Right, 
think we're done. Looks great. Done a really nice job. Yeah, you like it? I think it's lovely. Well done, babe. Even after six years, I still love this car as much as I ever did. And it was great to come back and see my dad.